Assalamualaikum and good day everyone. I'm Kamalia Hani binti Sanghudi Kamel and I'm delighted to welcome you to today's presentation. Thank you for joining us online. I'm pleased to present our study on investigating the effect of study habits, attendance, participation and understanding of course material on the academic performance of students who fail the electrical technology course for 8th International Conference on Social Sciences and Humanities. Please note that this study focuses on students enrolled in the electrical technology course during their second session of the 2023-2024 academic year at the Electrical Engineering Department, Polytechnic Polytechnic. Let's begin with the introduction. Electrical technology is a compulsory course that must be taken by the first semester electrical engineering students in Polytechnic. This course is a prerequisite for Electrical Circuits 2 course in semester 2. This course contains five topics. The first one is Introduction to Electrical Circuit. Second topic is about Direct Current Equivalent Circuit and Network Theorems. The third topic is about capacitor and capacitance. The fourth topic is about inductors and inductance. And the last topic is about magnetic circuit, electromagnetism and electromagnetic induction. This course needs good fundamental of basic mathematics because it contains 70% of calculation. Despite the importance of electrical technology in shaping future engineers, a notable number of students are struggling with this course. These struggles often manifest as high failure rates, which affects students' academic progress. The reason we highlight this as a problem statement is due to its significant impact on both students and the academic institution. We understand that electrical technology is often seen as a challenging subject. This perception can lead to increased stress and difficulty for students, impacting their overall academic performance and confidence. In the first session of the 2022-2023 academic year, only two students failed the subject. However, this figure sharply rose to 40 students in the second session of the same academic year. The failure rate continued to climb, reaching 69 students in the first session of the 2023-2024 academic year. Although the number decreased to 56 students in the subsequent session, it remains a notably high failure rate. The bar graph displays the failure rates for the subject across the four session, session 1, 2022-2023, session 2, 2022-2023, session 1, 2023-2024, and session 2, 2023-2024. The pie chart illustrates the percentage of students repeating the subject in the second session of 2023-2024. It shows that 62% of the students are taking the subject for the first time, 34% are repeating it for the second time, and 4% are repeating it for the third time. The objective of this study is, first, to investigate the relationship between study habits, attendance, classroom participation, and understanding of course material to academic performance of students in JKEPPD who have failed the electrical technology course. The second objective is to identify the main factors that contribute to the failure among these students. And the third objective is to gain feedback from target students to support at-risk students. As we continue, it is important to ground our discussion in the existing body of knowledge. To do this, we delve into the literature review, which provides a comprehensive overview of previous research and insight related to our topic. 
According to the Abel and Olufu, Ehsan and Sultana Guleka, PC and PC, maintaining good study habits and attending classes regularly are widely recognized as crucial factors in determining academic success for students. Dividos and Fault State, regular class attendance allows students to engage with course material, participate in discussion, and receive direct feedback from instructors. Students who prioritize attending classes appear to be more successful in their studies. Meanwhile, PC and PC state that aspect of student academic work, such as timing of classes and assignment deadlines can impact their attendance patterns, which in turn affects their academic performance. Devados and false, Ehsan and Sultana, PC and PCs also state that effective study habits such as managing time efficiently, taking organized notes, and actively engaging with course material have also been identified as key contributors to academic achievement. Meanwhile, Newwood stated that a significant relationship was found between academic success and the number of our students participated in and interacted with the online learning system. We are employing two methods to gather data, interviews and also questionnaire. For the questionnaire, 42 students out of 56 did the survey from session 2, 2023-2024. Meanwhile, 10 students from the same academic session joined the interviews. The questionnaire was distributed online and organized into several sections. Students were requested to provide their personal details, including their names, metric numbers and program, as well as to indicate the numbers of times they have repeated the subject. Secondly, the questionnaire was divided into four sections, study habits, attendance, participation, and comprehension of course material. Each section includes three to four questions designed to capture students' behavior and experiences while taking the subject. We are utilizing a five-point Likert scale to measure the frequency of responses. Additionally, we are incorporating multiple choice questions to combine qualitative and quantitative data, which will be statistically analyzed to identify patterns, trends, and correlation. Here are some excerpts from the interview session for sampling purpose. Through the interview, we found that student A preferred to study independently rather than in groups. Although he seeks help from his friends, he often finds that they also struggle with the material. He only studies during his free time and finds that if he pays attention in class, he is better able to recall information during revision. However, he has difficulty remembering how to apply the formulas. Meanwhile, the student B found that subject relatively easy, but struggled with his own attitude, often being lazy and easily distracted by social activities with friends. He rewrites his notes as a form of revision, which he considers to be effective. Additionally, he participates in study groups or seeks help from his teachers when he encounters difficulties. Through group interview, we found that most students review their notes after class and prefer to ask questions and discuss concepts with friends. There are times when they grasp the material, but at the time, they struggle to understand it, which makes studying alone challenging. Many of them find it difficult to perform calculation and knowledge that they need to complete the exercise. The results were analyzed based on four factors. The study habits, the attendance, the participation in the classroom, and the comprehension of the course material. Regarding study habits, we found that 47.6% 
spend less than two hours study this course. 47.6, prepare for the final exam few weeks before. 40.5% will only study during their free time. 57% sometimes will review their notes after each class. As for attendance, 54.8% at least miss the class one to three times. 64.2% miss the class due to the illness, personal reasons, or combination of these reasons. 40% always come to the class on time. 73.8% choose to review notes from classmates if they miss the class. In the participation parameter, we found that 44, 40.4% sometimes will ask questions to clarify the understanding. 54.8% sometimes will participate in the class discussion. However, most of the respondents feel comfortable engaging with the lecturers and classmates with 33.3% answers most likely comfortable. As for the last parameter, comprehension of course material, 45.2% understand the key concept taught in the electrical technology course. 38.1% sometimes seek help when they do not understand the course material. 42.9% confident to apply the concept learned in this course. 66.7% use all resources such as lecturers, study groups, textbook and online resources when they need help with the course material. Through the interview and questionnaire, <clears throat> we found that most of the respondents state that the most challenging topics in this course, electrical technology course, is the first one, DC equivalent circuit and network theorems, which is chapter two. And the second one is Introduction to Electrical Circuit, which is Chapter 1. They also have difficulty and struggles to perform the calculation. And the fourth one is the last chapter, which is about Magnetic Circuit, Electromagnetism and Electromagnetic Induction. In summary, these study habits, limited study time, inconsistent scheduling, last-minute preparation, and irregular review of notes may be contributing to the academic challenges. Frequent absences, although with varied reason for missing class, and the reliance on peer notes have impact on students' academic performance. Students who only occasionally seek clarification may struggle to fully grasp complex concepts leading to gaps in understandings that can contribute to academic failure. Infrequent participation in class discussion also limits opportunities for active learning and feedback. Considering the findings, it is evident that poor study habits, frequent absences and irregular class participation significantly contribute to student failure in electrical technology courses for the second session of the 2023-2024 academic year. Additionally, students who miss class often rely on notes from their peers, who according to interviews, also struggle to grasp the material thoroughly. Even though most students understand the concepts well and feel comfortable engaging with their lecturers and classmates, poor study habits are leading to their failure on the subject. <clears throat> However, it is advisable to explore additional factors that may, that may be contribute to student failure, such as lack of interest, differences in student backgrounds, for example, intake from community college or SPM candidates, or deficiencies in basic mathematics skills. The small sample size limit the interpretation and general, generalization that can be made from the result obtained. Future studies could collect data from a larger sample of students.